Good afternoon. We are here at St. Cecilia's. We are about to begin the Divine Mercy Chaplet on this Holy Week, Monday. Uh, let us um, come together to celebrate this, de this devotion. This is a great devotion asking God's mercy and forgiveness on all the world. On this uh, day, the special day of the Holy Week, as we and all over the world going through this tough time, let us uh, call on God's mercy and forgiveness. Wherever you are, please uh, try to log into our website or on uh, the uh, Facebook page and share this with other people so that we all can pray together and ask God, God's mercy and forgiveness.
as we come before Jesus, who is truly present in the Blessed Sacrament on this altar. Let us adore him, let us praise him and worship him, and thank him for the great mercy and love that he has shown to us. In this Holy Eucharist, we see Jesus, the Son of Eternal God, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit, the undivided unity, the Holy Trinity, is present in this Blessed Sacrament. Let us all together worship the Sacrament. The Sacrament most holy, the Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the, as it was the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With this holy devotion that we have, let us pray for all those people who are suffering. This holy hour that we spend with Jesus is the most profitable time that we can ever have. The hour of prayer the hour of adoration, this hour of thanksgiving is the hour that we will live fully, completely, for we spend this hour, this holy time with Jesus who is with us. Let us adore him and also implore his mercy. Let us pray for all those people who are suffering. And also let us pray for people who are taking care of those who are suffering. Beginning with doctors, nurses, all those people work in any way to minister to the people who are suffering those people who are cleaning, delivering things to the doctors and nurses, the truck drivers, everyone, one way or other, trying to help them. Let us pray for them, for they are right in front, fighting against this evil. They may have the courage, strength, and confidence. May they always feel the protection 
around them. And also let us pray for those people who have lost their loved ones. This is a very unusual time to lose somebody where we don't have an opportunity to say goodbye to our beloved ones, where we won't be able to gather to cherish the loving memory that we spend with them. Let us pray for all those people who are at this time grieving in their bereavements. Let us console them, comfort them, and ask God's mercy and protection on them with this divine mercy chaplet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our and Father, Father, who art Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, in the life everlasting. Amen. Oh. 
Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moment we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. O oh Jesus, eternal God, I thank you for your eternal graces and blessings. Let every bit of my heart be a new hymn of thanksgiving to you. O oh God, let every drop of my blood circulate for you, Lord. My soul is one hymn in adoration of mercy. I love you, God, for yourself alone. O oh, greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O oh God, and it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, gracious God, do not reject the prayers of earth's exile, O oh Lord, goodness beyond all understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by your own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at the death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may be with confidence as your children await your final coming that day known to you alone and with expected to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope through his merciful hearts as through one open gate we pass through to heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In Jesus, I trust in you.
Jesus promised his disciples that he will send the paraclete, the helper. And he did send. And the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles. And the Holy Spirit gave life to the church. The Holy Spirit led the church, guided, guided the fathers of the church. The Holy Spirit inspired the evangelists. The Holy Spirit moved over the earth like a wave and changed the whole world. Holy Spirit is our helper. He is our strength. He is our guide. Ask Jesus to shed his Holy Spirit on all of us again and again. The Spirit that we receive through baptism and confirmation. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to come upon us to give us strength and courage to guide us and lead us in this moment. Also ask for the Spirit be upon all those people who are suffering and also the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge of the Holy Spirit be with all those people who are trying to find a remedy for this situation that we are in a healing for this sickness. May the Holy Spirit come upon us. O oh Jesus, eternal God, send your Spirit upon us and enlighten our hearts. Give us courage, give us strength, give us confidence in you. May your Holy Spirit guide us. Let us ask the Holy Spirit be upon us and ask the Holy Spirit to have mercy on us and fill our hearts with his fire and love. And your response is have mercy on us and heal us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us and heal us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the whole world, have mercy on us and heal us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, who are equal to the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, promise of the Father, have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, the ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, the author of all that is good, have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, the source of heavenly water, Holy Spirit, consuming fire. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, ardent charity. Have mercy on us and heal us. 
Holy Spirit, spiritual and channel. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit of love and truth. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit of knowledge and piety. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, the fear of the Lord. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, grace and prayer. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit of peace and meekness. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit of modesty and innocence. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, who governed the Church. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit, who fill the universe. Have mercy on us and heal us. Holy Spirit of the adoption of the children of God. Have mercy on us and heal us. Let us call upon the Holy Spirit to come upon us and heal us. And all those people who are in need of healing.
the first miracle that Jesus did was through the intercession of Blessed Mother. And at the end of his journey on this earth, he gave us for us. He gave her as a mother for us. And she is our mother. And she protects us. She watches over, over us. And she is there for us all the time. As she was there, as was she was there for those couples in Cana at their wedding. And we have a holy weapon that we can easily use against every evil power. We Catholics have won wars, won over heresies and schismas. We won over plagues and, and, and epidemics by praying this rosary. The rosary is our weapon. Let us pray and intercede to Blessed Mother, praying a decade of the Holy Rosary for all those who are suffering, for all those who are mourning at this moment because of the death of their beloved ones for all those who are taking care of the sick people, for all those who have lost their job, for all those who fear about the future, for all those who are anxious and scared, for all those who are jobless now and do not find a hope, let us pray. Let us pray for families. Let us pray for hope. Let us pray for comfort, praying this rosary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. As we worship Jesus and I, as we thank him and praise him and ask for his mercy, let's also ask for his blessing. Let us ask for the blessing of Jesus who is truly present in this blessed sacrament on all of us. Especially at this moment, let us pray for and ask for God's blessing, the blessing of Jesus truly present in this blessed sacrament on those people who are dying at this moment, who have no way to approach a priest to receive the sacrament. Let us pray for the families who are struggling at this moment, that they cannot be with their beloved ones as they depart. Let us ask for Jesus' great blessing upon all those who are suffering at this moment. Let us ask for this blessing of healing on all of them all those who we know and have asked you to pray for, remember them and ask the blessing of Eucharistic Jesus on all of them. Ask this blessing for us, our family, our children. prepare our hearts to receive his blessing and today as we uh, cannot receive if you haven't got an opportunity to receive Jesus uh, or do an act of spiritual communion let us do an a spiritual act of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us sing Times of Miracle.
given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now let us together pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin. Virgin and Mother, blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Amen. I thank you all again at this moment at four o'clock our Bishop James Tokyo is leading the evening prayer if any of you would like to uh, join him please log on to the diocesan website the, the, the website of our diocese by Sister Machachan or the Facebook page uh, there you can uh, join him the prayer the evening prayer today as we all know we should have had the Christmas Mass, which we could not. Uh, so please join our bishop, if you can, for the evening prayer on the diocesan website. 